So here's the first real test of the built-in power doodad. Sammy's here to have a look. So there's three 18650 cells up there. Honey! And a little voltage regulator, adjustable voltage regulator. And that's a geared DC motor and a one-to-one -one gear ratio. Um, it's a lot quieter than the drill, which is nice. And it's also hands-free, which is nice. Um, so I've got it printed in two parts. The black part is the motor holder and the white part is the actual body of the pump um, in order to make cleaning uh, possible. Because uh, as it stands, I want to be able to completely submerge the white part and this rear gear in uh, hot soapy water to clean it, but obviously I can't do the same for the motor. That motor is mounted in there with a the press fit. Um, I don't want to get it wet. Um, so that appears to be working great. Honey! It's a pretty good, pretty good spot. Um, so when it was running dry, uh, you could hear the motor working harder. But when the honey got in there and started lubricating things, it, it became easier for the motor to run, which was weird. Well, not weird, but not what I was expecting. Um, so this uh, Velcro strap here and this little ring here is what's pulling the two together because the clampiness of the motor mount is not sufficient to hold it onto there. Um, I can watch. Yeah, you can watch, Sammy. Um, but I don't, I don't really, I don't really like this time. setup. Um, I might revisit it, um, but it's running very smoothly right now. No complaints. It? So I'm going to crack the frame all the way. Hmm, actually there's a problem. I can't spin it around because it hits the motor. I might just have to twist it up instead. It's exactly the same in terms of cracking the frames. Um, uh, so the power supply is pretty crude and there's no under voltage protection on those batteries. Uh, but I'm not going to be running this for long enough, I think, to flatten them in any way. And absolute worst case is I damage some 18650 cells by flattening them too much. Um, yeah. This motor is pulling about 800 milliamps to an amp um, at somewhere in the vicinity of um, 8 volts. But yeah, well, it's a treat. Glub, glub, glub. So I might drain a couple of frames. See, this is the one that I harvested a week ago, and it's nearly full on the end. Um, so yeah. yeah, there's a lot of honey on the go at the moment. Okay, bye-bye.